Hey guys, I want you to take a look at the pool coping over here. We have all the slate. Now, what, what we've been asked to do is to find the cheapest alternative to re, well, redo the coping in a way that we're just pretty much patching, piecemealing new slate. Now, the reason why we're doing that is the coping itself is in decent condition, as you can tell, the old coping. But we have sections which are broken and, and you can see they had a different design to them. So what we went ahead and done was we broke into the concrete and we bought some more pieces of slate. We went to um, the masonry supply store and we found a similar slate. This is a pinkish slate, but as you can tell, it's pretty thick. Okay. It's a pretty thick slate and when you buy slate you have to kind of fabricate it to a way that it makes it, it has that elevation that you're looking for. So what Oscar is doing in the back here is he's applying the concrete mix and he's putting the slate exactly to the same level that the existing slate was. Now there's also um, this type of detail over here with the stone that we are also breaking and chipping away old rock as you can tell on that end we have some old slate and rock and we're we're chipping away <clears throat> to get that pebble look gravel so it's, it's not a gravel but it's a pebble look design and we're facing it on the bottom section of the coping now many times you would see some type of a tile on the edge of a pool which is actually a better idea <clears throat> excuse me than just stone the reason is if you have kids if they're climbing up they can get cut on the slate the slate is pretty sharp and it has um you know different edges different sharp edges to it this detail is not an ideal situation for kids but you can even see the old contractor or whoever placed the concrete uh you know formation they put number five rebar and everything is rot rotted away so we have to cut to this rebar the thing about rebar once once it touches dirt it deteriorates and it rusts out so as you can tell what we're doing over here we have our old slate i mean we have our old slate the new slate we're gonna pour about four to five inches of concrete. We're gonna float it nice and neat, plug in new rebar on the places that it does have the rebar, and then finish it off with the same elevation slate. This will give us a brand new formed concrete coping, and it will save some money because also once you jackhammer and break into coping, whether it's any type of stone, um, you can damage your plaster. Now the problem is once you damage your plaster, you have to replaster the pool. And to replaster the pool, first of all, it's expensive and it's a laborious project. So as you can see, we're doing actually a pretty good job just to match the slate. And Oscar, <clears throat> on this end, he took the pebbles and he's plugging plugging the pebbles in with a similar design, then he will go ahead and grout the stone in place is a slate. He has his line to get to that same elevation. So that gives you kind of an idea on how you can restructure, redesign, and complete a project where you don't have to take all the coping out with the budget. Thank you for tuning in.